Hey everyone, this is Alex with Patterns for Pirates and I wanted to take a few minutes to show you how to sew the Kelly and Charlie dress uh, bodies when you've selected the option for facing and sleeveless. So we have the pattern pieces cut out, we have the back pieces. If you're doing the Charlie, it is one unfold. If you're doing the Kelly, it's two back pieces. I have my facing pieces, so the argyle, for tutorial purposes, the argyle is my facing and the ovals is my outer part. And then I have the two front and back pieces. So to start, you're going to stitch the back seam like so, all, or all down the back center. You can do that on a sewing machine or on your serger. Just remember that the seam allowance is uh, half an inch for this pattern. Okay, so my back piece is sewn. Now we're going to sew the shoulder pieces for both the front and the back. So take your back and the two front pieces, there are two front pieces, and I'm going to place them right sides together and sew the shoulder seam. Okay? All right. Your shoulder seams of the main pattern are uh, sewn. Now let's go ahead and sew the facing. The back facing was cut on fold. So this is what it looks like. Then you have your two mirror images for the facing that have the shoulder seam. So we're going to do the same thing as we did for the main. A line at the shoulder seam, like so. And stitch along the shoulder seam with a half an inch seam allowance. you should have two pieces that are looking like this. One is the facing and one is the main. Okay, this is the back part. So what you want to do is place your main and facing right sides together along the neckline, matching the V point in the back, matching the um, neck opening in the front and you want to pin that down or put some clips along the neckline. For now just along the neckline and of course you are also matching the shoulder seam. As you can see, the shoulder seams are matching. And of course, repeat on the other side. And because we have a V, point in the back. This step is best done on your sewing machine using a stretch stitch so you can easily pivot right here on the back seam. Continue pinning all the way. Okay, so is your um, main and facing should look something like this, pinned 
all the way at the neckline. So I'm going to go ahead and run a sewing stretch stitch. You're going to pivot right here at the V point. So I'm going to stitch all around, pivot and go down the other side. You are going to give this a good steam press to reduce any waviness that there might be at uh, your uh, stitch along the, your stitches. So now I'm going to go ahead and snip here at the V point just so I can get a crisp point. You can also reduce some of the steam allowance. Go ahead and um, understitch your uh, facing and what does that mean understitching means sewing your seam allowance so this is your seam allowance you're going to sew it on the facing so we're not going to top stitch we're going to understitch to keep the facing away so I'm going to stitch all around the seam allowance like so without catching any of the main part and I will be right back to show you how it looks like. The facing is understitched. So from the outside, you can see the stitch line right here. It's only on the facing, not on the main. Okay, and that goes all the way to the other side. So let's do the burrito roll method to, uh, for the sleeveless, <coughs> sleeveless option. So we're going to start by placing your um, fabric with the right side up. Then we're going to take one side and we're going to, as I said, burrito roll it. So keep your, your facing from this side out of the way. As you can see, it's out of the way. So with this part right here, we're going to roll so we can fit it right in, the, right in here. Okay, this is why it's called the burrito roll. So I'm going to bring my side seam, my shoulder seam from the facing and the main and pin them together like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go all the way around to the, to the arm opening and pin this in place, making sure that I only pin the fabric of the main and the facing, nothing else. You don't catch any of that burrito in your, in your facing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Feel with your arm to make sure there is just two la layers of fabric here. Okay, so this is what it will look like before we stitch it. This is the arm opening, this is the side seam, and this is the other side of the bodice rolled in here. So we're going to stitch around here making sure that none of the burrito is caught in the stitching, okay? Okay, so we have stitched it. This is what it looks like from both sides. Now, we're going to pull from one side, either way, we're going to pull our burrito. Make sure that you do use stretch stitches, so you don't have any popped stitches. A triple stretch stitch would work best for, for this situation. Okay? So one side is completed. And there you have it. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, right side up, facing and main, keep your these little wings outside for now. And we're going to bring in 
the burrito of the other side right in here okay because we don't want to have this in the stitching so we need to place it right in the center bring the shoulder seams together just like we did before and pin in place bring the uh, arm openings this is the arm opening of the facing to the arm opening of your main right sides together and pin in place and we're going to again stitch this with a half an inch seam allowance using the stretch stitch preferably a triple stretch stitch not a zigzag stitch my favorite ones for these steps are definitely triple stretch and that small lightning bolt one works great not a zigzag stitch you can also serge it if you want only serging will add, add a little bit of bulk but you can definitely serge it too So let's go ahead and stitch this down. Okay. So this is that side stitched. This is facing, this is main. So we're going to do the same thing and just pull our little burrito out of that stitching. And by doing so, you're also turning your fabric right side out. Give it a good, good press. Once you give it a good steam press, your uh, stitches won't be wavy and your V point here will be nice and crisp. I promise you that. And look what a difference it makes when it's uh, pressed. So I went ahead and pressed. You can see from the, from the facing side that the main peaks a little bit here because that's what you want. You don't want the facing to be visible from the outside. You see there is an eighth of an inch here and here, which is great because when you turn it from the outside, you will not be able to see the facing at all. This is the back. And these are the two front pieces. What a different pressing mix. So now you're going to continue stitching the pattern by adding a gathering stitch right here to match this side so we're going to gather this a lot only only the front not the facing so your gather will match the facing basically like so and then you're going to create the pattern as instructed I hope this tutorial has helped you um, with creating the sleeveless option with facing without elastic And uh, if you have any questions, definitely go ahead and ask in the comments below or in our Facebook group. And I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!